There's a very big difference between what we're doing with TP and unconditional love. Unconditional love, the concept is you have to love your kids no matter what they do. You have to accept them because that's their lifestyle, that's their choice. You have to really internally be happy with their choice. What we say is, your kid is sick. You have to heal them with your acceptance. Acceptance creates hashpa. Hashpa is influence, which is powerful, to get them away from bad ideas that they have that usually come because of terrible things that happen to them from other people. So if a kid decides that I don't want to eat food, I want to eat dirt, unconditional love says, right, you have to respect his choice, even if it'll kill him. You have to respect his choice. He likes to eat mud. We say, that's ridiculous, that's unhealthy. You have to use the power of your love to save them. That's the difference. We don't, we're not happy that our kids are doing drugs. We're not happy with dysfunction. We want to heal them. How do you heal them? When you shower them with love, when you shower them with acceptance, you create influence. Kids who are not talking to their parents, start talking to their parents. When you increase the NKN, the nafshik shur benafshay, and then you use that connection, don't just create it. We have a lot of parents, very good. You created NKN, but you're not using it to do CPR on the kid. You got to use your connection to be in their life, to boost them, to be there for them, to put fun into their life as much as humanly possible. That's what changes their lives. It's a very big difference because people think like, oh, Avi's unconditional love. No. We realize they're nebuch, not well. And when someone's not well, of course they say things that are not normal. Somebody who says sweet is bitter and bitter is sweet is sick. There is a sickness like that. Sweet tastes bitter, bitter tastes sweet. So I'm saying don't argue with them and say, no, it's bitter, no, it's sweet, no. Don't argue with that, you're not going to accomplish that. But use the power of your relationship that Hashem gave you, parents, to influence the child so in a year or two or three or four, whenever it is, that they'll become healthier and they're going to make, make healthy choices. And it's amazing how when the fog lifts up, all of a sudden that same kid changes their mind about everything. Because how can you really make a decision when you're in pain? Nobody, 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 nobody can help kids like mommy and tati, mommy and daddy, or mommy and abba. That's it, nobody. When you spend time with them, and you take them out, and you get them to want to spend time with you, and you get to smile and say, I love you, you're amazing, and compliment them and boost them, the results are amazing.